Hello and welcome to the latest Lucosa PC game review video. I haven't done one of these for a while, not since uh, the Overlord uh, Fellowship of Evil. And I said about that the better. So for this one, well, I'm sure you don't need me or anybody else to uh, introduce you to Half-Life 2. But there's a bit more of this than uh, may first meet the eye. This is actually a Half-Life 2 update, which is uh, a free download if you already have the uh, original Half-Life 2 game. So uh, I'll load a, a save game and uh, we'll get this underway. Now if you are the one person alive who has never played uh, Half-Life 2 uh, you are Gordon Freeman again I'll get the uh, intro done in a sec Alright, anyway. So, um. Yes, Gordon Freeman from the first, uh. Half Life game, uh, is back. And now fighting, uh. The, uh, Combine. Uh. Now, if you haven't played the first, uh. Or if you haven't played any Half Life game. You may be wondering who the Combine are. Well, um, it's never explained who they are. So, uh, now that you've uh, had this bit of an intro, you may be thinking, what is this uh, actual update uh, bit? Well, you have a bit of a hard time spotting it. Uh, what it actually is, is uh, improvements to uh, the uh, graphics in terms of uh, improving the shadow and what have you. Now, okay, there are improvements done. But, in order to actually see the improvements, Now yeah, yes, in order to actually see the improvements to the graphics, you have to be the sort of person who stands there thinking, you know what, I'm not going to actually play the game just yet, I'm just going to look all around and check out the uh, shadows and the shading and everything else. 
as if that's important. zombie that uh, you saw me attack earlier all appeared in the first game and they are semi-explained but they're not explained in this don't think that's going to uh risk I'm taking, but there's no could be, it is a risk. Looks like it may have worked. Yep, looks like I got rid of all of them. Oh, bollocks, there's more of those fucking things up ahead. considering I am actually uh on there. Uh, 
reviews on uh, from the Steam community. That wouldn't be immediately apparent. In fact, reading the reviews from the Steam community, you would think that oh fuck it, I'm oh, well fucked now. Got away with it. I don't know what happened to uh, cause that explosion or that uh, first tank to uh, ignite. Alright, I need to remember where I'm meant to go. That's the eventual way out. Well, at the moment there's no. Uh I think I have to jump onto that pipe and somehow make my way over to that area there, yeah. Now, as well as um, changing the uh, graphics, it has also changed at least it seems like it to me, it has also changed one aspect of the actual gameplay and that is that uh, jumping from one platform to the next has been made ridiculously difficult in fact so much so that I'm starting to wonder if this is the right way to do it okay let's try something up here. No. Now obviously it can be done because there are... There we go. So people who are banging on about uh, you know how great this is because the graphics are now a lot better I had been able to get through there but uh, looks like you know, having, to, having to do it a different way to uh, before. I think I'm still going to do it a different way to before. But I'm on the fucking platform, there we go. That's where I need to go. Okay, so how do I get on there? Oh, this way around, yeah. Oh, bollocks, now where? go. Alright, so grab what I can from that, which isn't a whole hell of a lot. Open the valve, which means the water comes flooding in. So, now we get back through here, see the water is flooding. Those fucking pain in the ass things are still floating around. But they can't get through here, so... Right, where do we get out? That way. Now, there's uh, a load of uh, items that are trapped under those floorboards, so we need to get through there. And I mean, I'm doing this voiceover uh, again as if, you know, never played Half-Life 2. I'm sure if you are watching this, you've played Half-Life 2. You don't need me to tell you how to fucking play this game. And he just got out of there in time. Now, I think they are too far away for me to be able to reach. 
actually. Okay, well, I'll take that. Uh, nothing there. Right, let's go. So, on with the review then. Uh, in terms of audio, it's great. I love I love the music in the Half-Life 2 uh, series. Uh, in terms of gameplay, again, it's great. I'm not a big fan of, of uh, first-person shooters, to put it mildly. <sighs> So I am extremely fussy about them. Uh, for example, I detest the uh, Battlefield uh, series. And... Uh, I think there's some stuff around here that I can use. Or not. Uh. So anyway, yeah, so um, gameplay is good. Um, and uh, yeah, audio is good. Now, graphics. No one is saying that the graphics in Half-Life 2 are shit. They've always been decent. But these supposed new improved graphics in this uh, Half-Life 2 update, well, what improvements? Um, you can see a difference if you are, as I've said already more than once, if you are the kind of person who routinely sits there uh, checking out, uh, you know, the shadows and how they are rendered. And if you are that sort of person, and therefore are the sort of person who will say, Oh, this game's fucking shit. Look how badly those shadows are done. Then you are an arsehole. Uh, I mean, you know, does... You know, the accuracy of a shadow, which stays on screen sometimes for as long as two seconds, um, really make any fucking difference. Now, again, there are some people who say yes, and if you are one of those people, then again, you are an arsehole. Um, it does not make any fucking difference. It does not add to the gameplay. It does not do anything. Yeah, oh no, that shadow looks a bit pixelated. Oh well, that's this game fucking ruined. No, don't be a fucking prick all your life. Now this is the area where we get the uh, airboat. But I'm going to uh, get these supplies first of all. Although it looks like there's nothing here that I don't already have. Hey! You're Freeman, aren't you? We got word you were coming. You got here at a bad time. Black Mesa East to Station 6. Do you read? Dr. Freeman is on his way down river. Lend him the airboat and give him all the help you can. Repeat, Gordon Freeman has returned. It is critical he reaches Black Mesa East. Better get going now. Yeah, that's the plan. I thought the uh, airboat was straight ahead, but no, it's in this. you got to get through this bloody area first. They're showing us! recognize the uh, crabs from the uh, first uh, Half-Life game. 
So anyway, I mean, yeah, the game is decent. If I was reviewing Half-Life 2, you know, just the uh, initial release, I'd be saying exactly that. The game's decent. But I'm reviewing this uh, update. You know, this badly needed graphical update, which has changed some shadows and some lighting effects and fuck all else. Um, so, I mean, it's an enjoyable game, but don't be conned into thinking that this update is in any way useful. It's fuck all nothing. Here we have one of the... Uh, pain in the arse than anything else. Right, that zombie, in fact there's two of them, they come to life when you uh, approach. There we go. That's one down. Wait, that two. It's best to shoot them in the head because uh, if you shoot the body, the uh, head crab things can uh, get off and uh, start attacking you again. So, alright, let's uh, run past there. Somewhere around here is the means to switch off those uh, that electrical current, I think. Emphasis on sync. No, you just mustn't touch the side. Fuck it, like that. Both those head crabs come over here and die as soon as they uh, hit the sides. So I took a couple of hits, but I also saved my uh, ammo. Right, well this is the entrance to uh, where the uh, airboat is kept. Hey, Dr. Freeman. I've been hoping you'd show up. Got this airboat all gassed up and ready to go. It's going to be tough dodging civil protection out there in the open, but drive hard and you'll make it. You'll find more help up at Station 7. Just a few bends up the river. It's the old red barn. Climb on in. Fire her up. Alright, so she opens it up. In the meantime, we get on board. You'd better get going now. Uh, yeah, I am. So anyway, uh, marks out of ten. I mean, as a game, as a first-person shooter, uh, uh, Half-Life 2 still gets ten out of ten. Uh, for me, it's still the best uh, first person shooter uh, was ever made. Um, but this uh, you know, Half Life 2 fucking, uh, you know, uh, update, you know, oh, you can't play Half Life 2 until you play it like this, you know, this makes all the fucking difference. No, it don't. It's had some basic, well not basic, I mean, alright, I'm sure it took quite a bit of work to uh, improve the shadows and the uh, fucking uh, lighting effects. 
but was it worth it? Because ultimately the changes are seen for a second. and are therefore absolutely fucking pointless. So I will give uh, Half-Life 2 update 1 out of 10 and um, you know, in fact no, I'll give it naught because you've paid money already to buy Half-Life 2. This update thing it's free if you've got Half-Life 2 but you have to have Half-Life 2 in order to actually uh, you know, be able to play it. Um, but uh, once you play this and compare it to the original the differences are minute despite all the work that's supposedly gone into it. And I also strongly recommend that you check out the reviews um, made by the Steam community. Because if you read those, you are given the distinct impression that this is revolutionary. In fact, it's so revolutionary, it's changed the game. It's so revolutionary, it makes up for the fact that Valve were lying to us about uh, Half-Life uh, 2 Episode 3. And it's, you know, oh, it's just an unbelievable stream of bullshit. I mean, it's not as bad as, you know, Elite Dangerous Fanboys uh, bad, but it's still fucking ridiculous. So anyway, um, yeah, that's this review done. So Half-Life 2 would get 10 out of 10 for me, uh, but this Half-Life 2 update gets zero, because that's how much difference it makes. So that brings this review to an end, and we will see you at the next one.